Hello, this is Rebecca Tope speaking, and I would like to introduce you to the most recent title of my Cotswold murder series, A Cotswold Christmas Mystery, and it features my amateur detective Thea Slocum. For those who have not read any of the earlier titles, and this is number 18 in the series, let me explain Thea has been a house sitter in all the books so far. The general pattern has been for her to arrive at the doorstep of a house in one of the Cotswold villages, and they're always real villages, without knowing anything about the people in the neighbourhood, and before long there's a murder close by. Because house-sitting is usually very boring, and Thea is a particularly nosy person, she sets about her own unconventional methods of finding the killer. For the most part, the police detectives value her contributions, at least by the end of the story. But this Christmas title is a bit different. Thea is now married to Drew Slocum, who runs a natural burial ground near Chipping Camden. Both Thea and Drew are widowed, and they have three children between them. Thea is not, however, the main viewpoint character in this book. Instead, we have Stephanie, Drew's daughter, who is not quite twelve, and determined to make this a real family Christmas. Her younger brother Timmy is in full agreement. Jessica is coming to stay for the holiday, and Hepzibah, the Cocker Spaniel, makes sure that everyone goes out for regular country walks. Thea, a remarkably successful stepmother, despite her many other failings, has promised to follow every family tradition to the letter, and forget all about any outside distractions. This might not prove to be as easy as it sounds. Thea Slocum was doing her best to concentrate on Christmas. She owed it to Drew and his children to make the best possible effort. The year before, everyone had been finding their feet and wondering how this newly formed family was going to work out. They had all been treading carefully, wary of hurting each other's feelings or trampling on sacrosanct ground, so that Christmas had turned into a somewhat scrappy event, with everyone going through the motions with far too much care. It was more relaxed now, but expectations were higher. Memories of Karen were inevitably more vivid at such a time her special Christmas touches still important to her children. The tree was a prime example. Drew had explained it with some embarrassment, leaving it to Thea to decide whether or not to adhere to the ritual established by his first wife. That's not fair, Thea had wailed. Can't you take an executive decision and explain it to the children? I might if I knew what the decision was, he said reasonably. Oh, I'll do my best, I suppose, to keep things as they were. There's no sense in making changes for the sake of it. The trouble is, I know I won't make such a good job of it. We've already established that Karen put a lot more into the whole thing than I'm ever going to. They're still very young, he pleaded on behalf of his children. Just give it three or four more years. Stockings, treasure hunt, mince pie for Santa. It's all quite ordinary, really. Treasure hunt, Thea had echoed worriedly. Little presents hidden round the house. We bought them with money that Karen's relatives sent. "'wrapped in colour-coded paper, red for Tim, yellow for Stephanie. "'Well, we'll cut that one out,' said Thea. "'Not least because it doesn't seem likely that the relatives, whoever they are, "'are still going to send any money. "'Come to think of it, they didn't last year. "'They must think now that I've got you, they can forget all about me and my kids.' "'That's enough, that sets the scene (laughs) and the, the slight tensions that they're going through.' But it all goes more or less to plan, except for repeated interruptions for a small family they've befriended living a mile or so away. As Christmas progresses, this family has more and more reason to plead for help, when first the mother goes missing and then the landlord, who lives next door to them, does so too. Thea and Stephanie find it impossible to resist getting involved. And so the scene is set for a disrupted but essentially traditional Christmas for Thea and her family in the Cotswolds.